สวัสดีสวัสดีครับ Thank the members and the guests for giving me the opportunity to come and share with you the Unilever vision. Across the next 20-30 minutes, we'd like to share with you the journey that Unilever has been on. Uh, it's been quite an interesting journey with regard to building the team and building the capabilities. Right. So let me just give you a feeling of the journey that we went on back in 2011. In 2011, there was uh, eight people. I had three jobs. Today, we are 390, and I have a team of 12 people. So we started 2011, 133 million, and this year we will close just over 1 billion euros. For next year, uh, our bottom-up plans get us to 1.7 billion. But my boss is quite aggressive, so our target is 2 billion. My boss gets even better because the 2020 ambition is to get to between 6 and 8 billion, which would be round about... 14% of Unilever's turnover. So the most important thing about trying to deliver the ambition is to follow the shopper. So when we look at the journey of the shopper, what we look at is four very simple stages. Capture, engage, e-commerce, community. So the first part of capture is to find the target of the brand wherever he or she is anywhere on the web. Once you've found the person that is the target of the brand, the next thing is to engage them with very good content so they fall in love with your brand. So once they've fallen in love, the next stage is let them actually buy the product. Once they've actually bought the product and used it, what we want them to do then is via community or social is to go and tell their friends this is a great product. Somebody talking to somebody is better than our normal advertising. To deliver the journey, we actually work on what we call eight drivers of growth. So things like Perfect Store Online is trying to make sure that people can see the brand and understand the brand on a screen that's this size. And Omnichannel is the big focus area because one of the things that happens today is that people don't take information in from one source. TV used to be the old way of doing things now. There are literally dozens of ways that people learn about the brand and fall in love with the brand. So one of the elements we really focus on is smart data. So if you're in a physical store, we know you bought it, but we didn't know how you interacted with the brand. The difference is online is that we know every single click that you make, whether you've watched a video, whether you've clicked on a review, we really understand what is driving you to purchase. One of the things we need to do is to make choices on where we use our money and our people. So let me take you through some of those bigger choices that we make as a global e-commerce team. So here's three of the big choices that we've made. The first one is about markets. So the first choice that we've made is by 2020, we want to get to a billion in turnover in China, USA, and India. The second thing to do is to focus on some of the growth engines that we see, whether they be customers or brands. So some of the big choices that we've made are to kind of focus on kind of Dove as a big global brand, Aviance, which is your brand, and then also to think about how do we win with some of the big global customers like Amazon, Taobao. The, so the next one, I. I personally think is the most important, and that is mindset. So the key part of it is that within Unilever, we manage big brands like Dove very well, but we need people like you to actually create business models and brands. For me, that's very hard, but it's the best part of actually getting out of bed and creating a business. So for us, across 2017, 18, and 19, it's about big markets, big brands, Dove, Aviance, but having the right mindset to create and grow businesses. If you look at the levers that we focus on, we focus on five levers, and they are about brilliant brand experiences, direct-to-consumer, smart data, new markets, and new models. Let me just talk kind of, let's say, about two of them. One is around acquisitions. We've made three acquisitions in the last 10 weeks. One is Dollar Shave Club in the US. 
One is seventh generation in the US, and one is a company called Blue Air, which is actually in Sweden. And then just the other one, which is the artificial intelligence. We think this is something that could change the way people interact with brands, and that's through voice activation. <laughs> if we look at personal care for e-commerce, personal care is really important. So some of the numbers from our first half, you can see on the screen, 162 million grew by 81% and we added 73 million to the business. So kind of personal care is about 42% of our business online. So it's a massive part of our growth. It's 60% of the growth that we actually deliver to the business. More importantly, it's what shoppers expect to buy online. But it basically states that 36% of people research online before they buy the product. So it's all about people looking for brands online for information and then going in store. So one of the things I would ask you to think about is how do you interact with brands today? So some people shop in a store. They'll also kind of go onto Facebook. They'll also read ratings and reviews. So the way that brands are interacting with shoppers is very different from five or 10 years ago when it was TV and the brand, it's very different. The company that will win is the one that can understand the shopper as they go through different parts of the journey and connect the data. If we look at this kind of brand page, which is a classic brand page on Amazon, just kind of two thoughts. The first one is about the reviews. So the reviews that you see here, 246, and they score four and a half stars. We know from our research that if you score more than 4.8, your business goes down because shoppers think that you're gaining the data versus being delivering good reviews. A key thing to consider though is just imagine your shoppers were on the website and then we were able to tell you that your shoppers had been looking at these kind of products, these kind of reviews had been read and these kind of videos had been watched. That would be very valuable information for you to understand about your shoppers. My last slide. For us, 2017 is about delivering a number, and it's quite an ambitious number. We know how to get to 1.7 billion next year. We don't know how to get 2 billion, but we're happy to set an ambition and kind of work towards it. Okay. Honestly, just for me again, thank you for giving me the opportunity to share with you the Unilever vision and what we're trying to do on e-commerce and how your brand plays a big part in enabling us to get towards our 2 billion and learn about your model and how we scale it.